Now we will perform an examination of the GI tract, starting at the stomach. We've already seen the location of the stomach once before when we were looking at the liver, so we'll start there again. We'll go in the sagittal plane at the level of the xiphy sternum, and the liver comes into view. We'll want to assess depth, gain, and time gain compensation for assessing the stomach. And there's the stomach just at the caudal border of the liver. So we'll evaluate the fundus down to the pylorus in the sagittal plane. And we'll do this with fanning. So we'll fan up through the fundus and fan down through the pylorus. We'll want to see it in orthogonal view. So what that will enable us to do is see it in two planes. We'll start again at the level of the xiphy sternum and we'll rock caudally to see the pylorus and cranially to see the fundus. We'll do that one more time. Start at the level of the xiphy sternum, just caudal to the liver, and we'll fan up and down through the pylorus, back to the middle, rock caudally for the pylorus and cranially for the fundus. Now we've seen the stomach. We'll move on to the small intestine. The best way to evaluate the small intestine is not to go through every single loop. That would take quite a while. So what we'll actually do is get a general overview for the small intestine itself. The best way to evaluate this, or, or one of the methods, is using a technique that's very similar to the way that is used to evaluate a microscope slide. So we'll start at the level of the stomach, and we'll go up, down, and across, and repeat that caudally throughout the, the entirety of the abdomen to get an idea of the small intestine. And there's some loops coming in, just caudal to the stomach. So we'll slide along, and we can stop and look at any loops that take our interest. At this point, we could perform measurements um, and calculations of wall thickness. Once we get to the caudal abdomen, we can stop at the bladder, which we've seen previously. There it is at the top of the screen. We'll need to change depth just now. And the colon is located just dorsally to the bladder, so we can actually fan up and we can see the colon. And it starts to come into view. We won't be able to see too much beneath it because of the amount of gas in there causing a shadowing effect and artifact. Back to the bladder and standing up to the level of the colon.